So Razer were kind enough to send me the Razer Taipan, which is a ambidextrous um, gaming mouse, and I'm going to do my rundown of it. And um, yeah, it's it's quite awful actually. But hey, let's go through tech specs, and we'll kind of go from there. A200 DPI 4G laser mouse, ambidextrous, of course. Uh, Razer Synapse enabled, which is quite good. Nine programmable hyper response buttons. 1000 hertz ultra polling up to 200 inches per second 50g uh, acceleration um, and it weighs uh, with cables 132 grams or just the mouse on its own 95 which is really light and really great so yeah it's it's supposed to be worth 69 quid 69 quid this mouse is supposed to be worth now razor stuff is great razor stuff is fantastic and i love razor stuff and I don't quite know what they've done with the mouse. It's a great mouse. It, like it, it's a good mouse, right? It's a good mouse. It's a perfect gaming mouse. It's you know really responsive. It's how you think. It would it fits you in your hand fine. But it's not worth sixty nine quid in terms of its build quality at all. It uses really cheap, nasty, horrible plastic like this kind of weird. I can't really describe it, it's kind of like textured plastic and it feels awful. It really does feel horrendous. They've got the Razer Orochi or whatever it's called, their little tiny notebook one, which I've got, which is an awful mouse again. But that surface, the smooth surface, is what I prefer in a mouse. I don't like textured stuff and I certainly don't the texture I don't like the texture they put on there because it feels cheap and nasty and horrible. And if I'm gaming for ten hours straight, I certainly don't want to be feeling some cheap piece of rubbish. Now I could forgive Razer if they charge maybe 30 quid, or they charge 20 quid. But from what I can see, basically what they're doing is they're, they're creating a rubbish mouse, putting their name on it, and then charging people stupid amounts of money for it. It is probably the worst mouse I've ever used, and I'm going to hold to that. Even the cheap rubbish mice that OEMs provide, like Logitech and stuff like that, for corporate machines, it's that bad. As a gaming mouse, it's great. You know, it's you know the acceleration is fantastic. How you use the mouse is great. But the fact that the plastic they use is so cheap and nasty and horrible and textured and ugh, that's what ruins it for me. And there's no way in hell I want to spend the best part of 70 quid on a mouse that feels awful. Um, I mean, you look at the rat series of mice. I've got a rat. I've got several rats, actually, and they're fantastic. Love them as mice. Some people don't like them because of the way they look and, and everything like that, but they're really adjustable. And for that kind of same sort of price, you can get a Taipan, you can get a rat well, maybe even Rat 7 actually for that kind of price, and that's completely adjustable. Now, the the one that Razer does that's completely adjustable is about 120 odd quid, I believe. Um, and that does look like a really, really, really good mouse. But, say, when they're producing rubbish like this, you kind of think, are they just in it for the brand? Um, like Beats Audio is, and like Apple does with a lot of stuff now. You know, people were just paying for that Razer brand, and I'm kind of like thinking, Actually, this is kind of looks like the way that Razer's going, and I don't like it, and yeah. I really don't want to be negative with Razer stuff, because they've given me the stuff for free to review. But I can't justify lying to you guys, it's really bad. Just don't go out and buy it. And if you pick up one and you like it, great, fine, go out and buy it. Don't let me tell you what to do, because as a gaming mouse, it is good. But actually, I would say my cheapo Iron Man-esque mouse that I got is probably better, at least in terms of its looks and how it feels. The response rate in terms of clicking is awful. I wouldn't want a game on it. But yeah, it's got... I don't know. It's just... I don't know what they've done. It's just... Ugh. Um, and say if I was pushed, then yeah, maybe I might use it. But all they need to do to make it better, and to make it 100% better, and to prove that it actually is worth 69 quid, is change the plastic they use. Get rid of that stupid bloody top. Put smooth plastic on it. It'll be fine. It'll be great. In actual fact, they should release another one that, that embeds with their chroma range and does chromery stuff, because at the moment it only grows, grows, uh, glows green, and it's kind of like, I don't know, you know, if, say, if it was worth 30 quid, I could forgive them, but it's worth 69 quid. 69 quid in their official shop, 67 on Amazon. So, yeah, unfortunately, not a great mouse at all, and, um, real shame, because I do like Razer stuff. Um, I've got Razer, I've, I own, I possess Razer kit, and it's, you know, it's a real shame, because actually Razer kit's usually pretty good, and this time around, really isn't and that's a shame 
But yes, of course, hit me up on Twitter at Izzy Chill, send me an email at Aaron at AzzyChill.com. Like, subscribe, favourite, all that kind of stuff. I do have to, you have to excuse the pathetic facial fuzz I've got here, but I'm I'm taking part in November, um, and it's only early days, so that's why it looks awful, and it's not a proper moustache. So hopefully that'll grow, uh, that'll grow better as well. But anyway, apart from that, I shall catch you in a later video.